Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Tab back here with another episode of our No Money Spend Squad series. Now, I know I didn't start this on the first day of the season. So, basically, what does that mean for me? It means XP wise, it's going to be tough if I did decide to do that. But ultimately, I, I'll explain it later in the video. But I just, I can't, since I did advance to the kind of next step in the 250k tournament. I can't even start to grind for David Robinson. It's just my time is more valuable than the Galaxy Opal David Robinson card. But no doubt about it, if you're grinding for David Robinson, go ahead and do your thing. But because his stats aren't out, which I, first of all, I don't mind that his stats aren't released because they're bound to update the card with the new content drops anyway. So I don't mind that his stats aren't released. He's going to be very, very solid. I have no doubt about that. But before we dive any deeper, if you are new to my channel and have not yet, please consider smashing that subscribe button. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers. So as you guys, most of you guys do know, my team, I mean, it's it's pretty solid now. I got Kevin McHale, Russell, Res Russell Westbrook still is on the squad. And this is what we're working with. Rudy, AK, these guys are still going to play for me. Some of these bench pieces might have to go uh, here in the meantime. But I did end up going through and selling a lot of my collection. And as you guys can see, the more that you sell, the better off you are. He, such as like a Petrie card who probably is never going to play for me again. I got 8,000 MT out of him. Jared Jack, 4,000. So the more that you sell, obviously the more MT you're going to get. And you're going to notice my MT kind of go to the moon, right? I know NBA Top Shot's going to the moon and so is my MT. So you guys can see it. Uh, the the more that I claim, the more MT I'm going to get. Even this James Harden Diamond card sold for 10,000 MT, basically, which is just absolutely absurd. So I know this season, in particular, with my team Unlimited, it's like 53 games, I think, instead of 67. So for me personally, I know this season is shorter, but it will be a lot easier for me to get that reward compared to grinding the 67 games. Now, last season, I did end up going undefeated. We'll see. Can I go undefeated in this season, uh, the second season of this particular No Money Spent Squad? We shall see. It'll be very, very intriguing to see if I can make a run at that. Also, am I going to get the triple threat offline reward, Don O, Don o or am I going to get Freddie Brown, downtown Freddie Brown, and triple threat online? That's just something we'll have to see, but I know my first priority here obviously is getting through my team unlimited that's my first biggest priority because the thing is cedric's guaranteed to play for me cedric is very very good uh and, and he's going to be guaranteed to play for me so i just got to build my no money spent squad account so the first thing i'm going to do is go in here and look who can i get for a good value that can play for me so my first two the guys i got on my radar are pink diamond gerald wallace and then obviously carl malone these two guys i think are guys that i'm going to add Lamar Odom, I want to add, but he's just a little too expensive. So those first, those two guys are probably the first guys on my radar. Anthony Davis diamond card isn't bad, uh, but I just I don't think he's better than than the centers I'm running. Like I don't even know if he's better than Mo Bamba to be honest with you. So that's the kind of hard part I got about him. But the thing is, even an Austin Austin card, this card's gonna play for me as well. So we got a lot of guys to pick up today. Let's start with Pink Diamond Gerald Wallace. There's no reason for me to hold on to my MT honestly right now. I got it for a reason, and that reason is to get the unlimited reward this month because I know the streets are going to be sweaty. It's not just going to be a breeze through my team unlimited, especially this early on. So we'll see if I can get a Gerald Wallace. Is there any badged up? That's what I'm trying to find. Any badged up, even if I have to pay a couple thousand more. Can I find any Gerald Wallace's that have like 30 plus gold badges? Because that would be a big time W. If not, I'll just buy the base card and ball out with it. But it would be definitely very, very nice if I could find one with just a few extra badges uh, that have at, that have been added to him. Let's see, none. Doesn't look like it's it's going to be. Doesn't look like I'm going to be able to find a Jerry Wallace that is badged up very easily. At least I'll go up to 70, 75k, and if I can't find anything for that, it just might be over with. It might be it might be tucked for me. Uh, my last kind of prayer right here. To find a Gerald Wallace with 30 plus gold badges, and yeah, it's not just going to work out. I mean, how many people that get Gerald Wallace are going to badge him out, though? That's the thing. Not very many, including myself. I'm just going to get the base Gerald Wallace card and ball out with him. I think he's going to get the job done. He's fine as he is. He doesn't really need any extra badges, but it just would have been nice to have one that is a little extra badge. There, I get a Gerald Wallace for 62,000 MT, and that's not that bad of a price because I can add him into my lineup obviously 
we're gonna have to make some changes we're definitely gonna have to make some changes let's pick up austin crochier next i don't know i love scalabrini and, and i'm gonna keep scalabrini ar around for a little bit but i kind of want to try this austin crochier card out just to see what see what he can do on the court for me because he's got a ton of badges like his badge count is absolutely incredible so he should be able to move and groove for me but we're just gonna keep scalabrini around in case crochier just really is not the man with the plan that i thought he could be so can i get it okay yeah look at how cheap he is it's absolutely insane to me that he is this cheap but hey i'm not ever gonna complain about a guy for 1300 mt that is gonna do its thing for me so austin welcome to the squad and then last but not least i'm gonna pick up carl malone now after carl malone then we'll look at where else we can go but i do need to add the mailman to my lineup as well i saw somebody run the mailman and Joe wallace in 250 so i know these cards can compete at a high level the thing is carl malone's not super expensive Again, I am going to look for one, try to look for one that at least that is at least a little badged out, maybe a couple extra gold badge, gold badges, whatever the case may be. But at the end of the day, he doesn't really need that many extra badges, I don't think. There, there's none extra, there's none that have extra badges. And I'm just going to keep working my way up because even if for Carb alone, if I have to pay an extra 10000 for a badge cup one, I definitely would do it. But it's just, it's all about trying to find one that is badged because it's not easy to do it's hard to find a badged up car alone because like i said similar uh to jerry Wallace, nobody's gonna badge these cards out they're just not hyped up enough uh and, and mo most of the things you're gonna see on the auction house are not gonna be badged. so i'll go up to 50k and if i don't see anything at 50k it's just gonna it's, it's just not gonna work out to find a badged up car alone but we'll see here last search for car malone if we do, oh this one's got an extra hall of famer what is it uh oh you're going to ask, is it rim? If he's got half rim, I'm going for it. I don't even care. No, he already has rim. Imagine me trying to search through here and find it. Lob City Finisher, Post Spin Technician. He's got both of those. Like, I have no idea what it is. Heart Crusher, Intimidator, Rebound Chaser. He's got half Heart Crusher? No, nah, I might just have to do my thing, honestly. That's not even a bad one. For an extra, what, 6,000? I'm going to take it. Half Heart Crusher, I'm just going to take it. I'm just going to take it. Run with it. He also has a diamond shoe. I'll take it every single day of the week. So I might, I'm thinking about running Carl Malone actually at my center position. Uh, we'll just have to see. We'll have to see. But right now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to plug Carl Malone in there. Crochet in. Where's Crochet? There he is there. And then Jared Wallace, you can run the two. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug Kyle Anderson there at the three. So this is my lineup right now that I think I'm thinking about working with. Obviously, this is definitely subject to change. I am going to move Jared Wallace to that starting lineup. My starting lineup is starting to look a lot better. With the new additions of, of obviously, these quantum players, you're going to notice it looking a lot better. Now, Bob Sarah is a card that I'm, I'm thinking about picking up as well, just because he is so, so elite. So I am going to add Bob Sarah to the lineup. And just to see, can I'm just trying these cards out. If I don't like them, I can obviously sell them back. But I want to try these cards out at the start of the season. This is where you're going to see probably the most consistent budget content drop. I had the MT for it so obviously i'm going to try these players out just to see ultimately how they are Seventeen thousand for bob sarah not a bad price at all i'm willing to pay that and just take the gamble that bob sir is going to give me more than russell westbrook does that's just the gamble i'm willing to take you guys can look at my starting lineup and i would be you can't tell me the starting lineup can't compete that's something you can't tell me now my bench unit obviously they're not incredible but still they can compete at a high level and the important thing now guys is with all these players out you don't have to have the most MT in the world. I don't have that much MT to build a good squad that I believe can compete at the highest level. Before we hop into anything, I do want you guys to know the content that came out today. Now, this content came out in the middle of me recording. So we did get Tony Parker, obviously Killian Hayes, and Sekou Dumboya. Sekou Dumboya, a, a very solid option that could be added to my no money spent, spent squad uh, very very shortly but this is why we are going to be running with today now obviously single player challenges we might get the new spotlight challenges uh released today we'll just see on that now i know a lot of you guys want me to do the signature challenge for this hot badge and if i do do it it'll definitely be off stream but hot badges i mean they're fine they're okay uh especially you know when when you consider chase down artists that would be a good one to apply but we'll see we'll see if i do end up applying any of those I just hate badging players out, even for like Kevin McHale. He could definitely use some badges, but it's just hard for me to spend the MT when I could spend it on upgrading my shooting guard position to Jerry Wallace or my power forward position to Carl Malone. But obviously, we've got a lot to do with Cedric, with our grind for Cedric Maxwell, and that starts today. Looking at my opponent here, he's got Jeremy Lin, MJ, LeBron, Giannis, and Hakeem. So 
Definitely not a not an opponent I wanted to start my no money spent squad series out with, but hey, it is what it is. We start the grind for my man Cedric. And Bob Sir is in the lineup as well. We got a lot of new pieces. Okay, Bob, I see you. Back to Kevin McHale. And that's the one thing about McHale that I don't I will never have down is that release. Even when I got him on my own account. Uh, my 250k account, I just never figured out that release. Look at Gerald Wallace playing defense. Mikhail up to AK. Put him in the rim, Andre Kirilenko. And this is a great start to the game. Ah, oh, that's my fault, man. Dang. Come on, Mikhail, give me one. I just don't know how to time his release. Like, at all. I have no clue. Thank you. Come on. Somebody space the floor. Thank you, man. <clears throat> Sir, give me a showtime. Thank you. I think, what do you got? Gold showtime? Or do you not even have showtime on your base card? I don't know. But I'll take the dunk nonetheless. Come on. Good defense. Come on. Oh, yeah, look at McHale. Imagine trying to attack Kevin McHale. This game stinks. Come on, Gerald, give me one. That's, uh, that's late. It's because everybody now has their releases on quick, and I just got to get used to it. Four. Thank you. Run, come on. Hey, thank you, Carl. Put him in the rim. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. You guys are seeing the takeover. Ramp up. Oh, that should be me. Goodness. Give me one, Mikhail. I just don't know how to time that release. Early, late, I just... I'm all over the place. Thank you. Chill. Green. Thank you, sir. That's what I needed to see. Big time green light for my man, sir. Mikhail's been playing good, especially on the defensive end of the court. Offensively, obviously, I got to figure out that release timing. But defensively, he's been elite. Look at Kevin McHale coming over, getting the SWAT. Oh, yeah, sir. Don't jump. Oh, yeah, sir. That's fine. We're fine. Mikhail? I'll take it. Mm, I don't know. That, that release is weird. Uh-oh. Look at the takeover starting to ramp up. No. Oh, my goodness. Good defense, Ty. Thank you. Grab the ball, please. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. I hate glass cleaning takeover, man. Oh, my goodness. Bob Sura is tough. I don't care who you are or what you think. Bob Sura, compared to Russell Westbrook, you can't compare the cards. I, I Listen, you just can't. Oh, yeah. Good block. Uh-oh. You want Mikhail? Uh-oh. Chill. Come here. Do not turn it over. Oh, I should have just taken it. That's fine. I'll take the layup nonetheless. I could have got a Showtime slam out of it, but it doesn't matter because Kevin McHale's base card doesn't even have it. Oh my goodness. This Bob Sura card. I ain't gonna lie. Welcome to the, the the Bob's, you know, welcome to his show because it is just over with. Center, I see you. One more. Ah. AKA chicken, 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 chicken. Yes, sir. Uh oh, we got team takeover. You love to see it. Oh, yeah, Carl. Oh, yeah, Carl. That's fine. Oh, yeah, Gerald's sitting there waiting on it. Sir, time. Just give me a give me a safe dunk. That's what I'm talking about. I don't need anything special. Just give me a give me a safe dunk. Oh yeah, we're moving. Uh oh. Uh oh. Jar one. I gotta green it. Oh yeah, Carl. Come on, give me one, Gerald. Yo, where am I at with your release? I I gotta time it, man. Uh oh. I don't know why everybody's letting these cards go for this cheap, but. It's, it's tough, because all these cards can ball, especially Bob Sura. Over and back. Oh, you might as well. 
Look, you just might as well do your thing. You might as well do your thing, Osmosis. Yes, sir, the first win of our season. We are 1-0, and that is where I'm going to leave it at for this episode of our No Money Spent Squad Series. Obviously, we got a couple things to open for our level XP. And I'm not going to grind XP in particular, but if I get XP as we go, that's just going to be part of it. Because I'll take all, all the XP rewards that I do indeed get. Bronze range, that's a W. But it's not like I'm just going to sit here grinding for David Robinson when I realistically have to set my focus on 250k. So... Bronze range and quick first step, both decent enough badges that probably have at least some sort of value uh, for me in particular. But obviously, I'm not going to grind this LeBron Evo. I know some people have and some people will want me to, but it's not something I really want to grind, as well as a shoe pack to round it off. So, very, very good start to my No Money Spent episode I, or my No Money Spent squad series. Obviously, Paige Strakovic won't get grinded token wise. I just got to keep working my token account because right now, I really have no use for them. Tomorrow we'll see if Doom Boyer or Killian Hayes, possibly any of the new, any of the players that we did get today, uh, will be in my episode tomorrow. But remember, I recorded this before any of them were out. But this is the squad I went out there with today and got out to my great one and zero start with, guys. Comment down below what would you guys like to see in the for my future in this no money spent squad series. Let me know that down below in the comments. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys and have a blessed day.